Hi guys, this is Dom from Start Gaming Collectibles channel and for this video, we actually have something a bit different. So it's sort of like a throwback battle. So for this video, we'll be um, having the mono red Luffy leader, which is from the starter deck versus the mono blue crocodile leader, which is also from the starter deck. So it's almost like a deck limited battle, but with both op01 and op02 uh, cards so this should be a good one so again guys enjoy the video so again this is something a bit different because uh, recently we've been uploading leaders from op02 but for this video we'll, we'll be using like starter deck uh, leaders so for uh, my first turn i'll be summoning chopper so i pass over my turn to him so for his first turn, he actually passes and it's going to be my turn now. So for my turn, I'll be summoning the Rush 3-cost uh, Zoro. So I do have like a good starting um, hand and starting turns. So he countered my 5k attack. I'll be swinging with uh, Luffy. So it's going to be his turn now. So he's gonna be swinging for 5k at my leader, so I'll be taking damage. And then he's gonna be summoning Jinbei, which actually puts a, a 4 cost or below character to the bottom of my deck. So he was able to uh, remove Zoro. So it's my turn now, so I'll be summoning another Zoro. I'll be attaching one Dawn, and I'll be swinging for 6k. And uh, I'll be attaching one done to Luffy, and I'll be swinging for another 6k, and then I'll be summoning Chopper, uh, which is the blocker Chopper. So for my first uh, few turns, I actually have almost like perfect hand or perfect draw with the two Choppers and the two Zoro. So even though my characters is being destroyed, uh, I'm able to replenish my attackers and my characters. So. For this turn, he's gonna be summoning uh, uh, one of his uh, pacifista by the effect, and it's gonna be the blocker pacifista. So he's also building board presence, so that's a good thing with blue, is that they're able to really like swarm the field with like summoning effects and then also with a lot of um, blockers that they do have so it's my turn now so um, I'm just making sure with my attack since he has uh, a blocker now on the field so I'll be attaching to Don to Zoro or I'm um, thinking about how many Dons I'll be attaching because I'll be summoning also some rush characters this turn so i'll just be attaching one and then i'll be swinging for um 6k which he would be countering and then i'll be attaching also one don to luffy which i will be swinging for 6k which he would be blocking with um the pacifista blocker and then i'll be paying two costs for sanji I'll be activating uh, Luffy's effect and then attaching one Dawn. And for this turn, I'm gonna make sure that it's gonna be a hit. So I'll be attaching three, so that's a 7k swing, which he would be taking damage. And then for my last Dawn, uh, I'll be summoning Chopper, which is, I think, my third Chopper for this match. So, really lucky when it comes to uh, the draw that I have and then the characters that I do have. So I pass over the turn to him, but as you can see, even though I'm like continuously attacking and have attackers or rush attackers on my field, he's able to counter it. So he's going to be swinging for my Zoro, I'll be countering for 2k, and for this turn, he'll be summoning the 2, a, a double blocker Kuma, which has the effect that if it's destroyed, he can actually summon a pacifista from his hand so again even though uh, we might destroy his character he's still able to swarm the board with special summon and on play effect 
even if the character is destroyed or killed. So for this turn, I'll be paying one for the Searcher Nami. So I look at the top five cards of my deck, and then I get any Straw Hat characters event. So I'll be um, selecting the five rush. Uh, sorry, the five cost rush Luffy. Because I really need to uh, pass through all of his blockers to successfully hit his live. So um, for this turn, um, I'll be attaching three dons to Sanji and I'll be swinging for 7k, which he would actually take damage. I'm curious because he actually has two Kumas. So I'll be swinging with Zoro for 7k. He would be blocking with one of his Kuma. And then uh, I'll be attaching uh, three dons to Luffy, which I'll be swinging for 8k uh, at his leader, which he would also be blocking with Kuma. And then he would actually be, um, or it's gonna be his turn now. So he was not able to like summon uh, any pacifista with the attack of Kuma, so uh, I was actually re relieved. That he was not able to replenish uh, the characters that he has on his field so he's actually attaching Don to Sentomaru and then activating um, the effect which he can summon a pacifista which for this turn he summons the attacker pacifista with the 6k and then he'll be swinging with Sentomaru for um, 5k at my Sanji which I'll be blocking with Chopper and then he'll be swinging with Jinbei at my Zoro which I'll be blocking again with Chopper and then he'll be swinging with his leader at my Zoro which I'm not able to block and defend anymore so and then he also activates Crocodile's effect uh, wherein he actually puts my Sanji back to my hand um, it's like a tempo play, but since Sanji does have Rush, I can easily like utilize and still use him as an attacker for this turn. So he passes over the turn to me now. So I'm just uh, making sure again with regards to the Dawn that I do have, because I do have Max Dawn. So I'll be swinging for 7k with my Luffy at his uh, Sentomaru, because I really want to destroy it but he's gonna be using Lub Lub Beam so again able to successfully defend his character which is the, the strength again of the, the blue uh, leader so um, I summon Sanji I attach two Dawn so I'm able to do rush and I'll be attacking at his uh, Sentomaru again for 6k but he is able to defend it again with another Love Love Beam, so uh, really doesn't want to let go of Sentomaru. So now I only have one attacker. I'll be attacking Jinbei. And then for 5, I'll be playing for the Rush Luffy. And then I'll be swinging for 6k at his Sentomaru. So finally, I was able to destroy. And remove it from the board so at least he's not gonna be able to summon any more pacifista uh, blocker or pacifista attacker so it's his turn now so I was able to clear a bit of his board and I was able to use up um, quite a bit of his uh, event counter so he'll be swinging with his pacifista and his, he'll be destroying my five cost fresh Luffy and then he'll be swinging uh, for his leader a 5k at my Sanji so quickly he was able to destroy all of my attackers so it's like we're both at the same state or board state but the thing is I only have the one cost Nami and he has a uh, Kuma so I'll be swinging for 7k with my Nami at his leader I know I should have gone for Kuma but I really want to be aggressive because uh, he doesn't have an attacker as of the moment on the board so if he does have like counters I do want to use it up so he did use um, a 3k counter so I'll be attaching two and then I'll be swinging for 7 get his leader with my Luffy so he took damage with that so he's down to one life and I'll be paying three for 
uh, Robin with the effect wherein if she has one done attach and then she attacks, she can destroy a, a 3000 or less attack character. So it's his turn now, so he only has one life with one attacker which is the pacifista which is actually a strong attacker because he does have 6000 base attack so he'll be swinging for 5k at my nami which i would just let go and then he'll be swinging for 7k with his uh, pacifista which i would be taking damage so i'll be down to uh, three lives now versus his one life and then He's gonna be summoning Dofi, which would put my Robin back to my hand. So that's a nice uh, counterplay to delay uh, my attackers. So it's gonna be my turn now. And then he has two strong uh, characters now on his board. So I need to do something on my turn to mitigate uh, the attackers that he does have. So for this turn, I'll be paying 4 and then I'll be using round table at Dofi, so that's minus 10,000. And then I'll be paying 3 to summon the new Vista character for Wolf 2 that has the on play effect that's similar to Robin, wherein he can destroy a 3,000 or less uh, character. So I'll be attaching all of my Dawn and activating Luffy's effect and swinging for 9k and he did the damage there so he's now down to zero life which is again uh, sort of like the win condition for uh, red especially for luffy uh, as long as i'm able to quickly uh, get his life to zero and then i'm able to clear his board with his uh, blockers and then i'm able to somehow draw or get one of my rush or unblockable characters I would be able to win the game because that's mostly the win con or the easiest win con for red is to get your opponent's life to zero so that you can swing for game so on his turn is just making sure about his dawn and then which character is going to be attacking so he's, he's going to be attacking actually for 10k with his uh, pacifista so I'll be taking damage so I'm down to two lives and then he'll be swinging with his uh, crocodile leader attaching all of his remaining dawn or sorry six um, one dawn for six can and be blocking it with my otama which is a 2k counter so I was able to negate that attack and then he'll be summoning uh, the three cost dofi blocker which lets him look at the top five cards of his deck and then he can rearrange it in any way he likes so he now has a blocker on the field and i only need to do one successful attack so for this turn i'm just making sure that i can clear his board uh with any uh like attackers or sorry uh defenders or blockers and then i need to make sure that i'm able to um get the victory uh so i use atama so minus 2k and then i use again the vista which is again a super strong effect so i'm able to clear his board of uh any blockers i use to this effect and then i swing for four first 12k at his leader and so that's 2k counter 3k and he doesn't have any more countered and i was able to seal the victory with that last luffy swing again with the help of vista clearing the board with the otama vista combo and previously with the round table vista combo so again i was able to seal the victory Again guys, this is Dom from Spark Gaming and Collectibles channel. Kindly like and subscribe and turn on all notifications so that you would not miss out future contents on the channel. And thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day guys. Bye bye.